Hi, I'm John Keisner, and you're watching The Natural Farmer. I am integrating now uh, in the planting of every single tree that I put on the land here, uh, these guys. So this is uh, Figi d'India in Italian, uh, paddle cactus. But I'm gonna show you here how we use these. I heard about this technique when we first moved here and uh, it's what the, the grandfathers, the great grandfathers used to do, especially when they had no water out in an isolated place, used to plant trees like this. Now we're using it. So step one is collect paddles from the cactus plant. So to do that, we just swipe, quick little swipe, pick it up with the scythe itself. You don't have to get uh, any stickers in your finger and throw it in the bucket. Collect a good amount, fill up the bucket because you're gonna need more than just a few. Step two, which is fairly obvious, we wanna choose the, the correct place for the tree itself. We wanna take into account uh, the mature size of the tree, the density that we choose to work with in terms of food forest planting up close to the house, etc. We don't want trees that will be invasive and disturb the foundation of the house. Uh, we also want to be mindful of climate. Make sure we're choosing a tree that will uh, survive in our climate. Step three, dig the hole. Now, as you're digging, hopefully with the rains, the, the ground is softened up enough, but if you find that the ground is still hard, you can use a little technique. Dig a little bit, then pour some water in it and let the water completely infiltrate into the soil, then keep digging. You'll find that that makes the soil much, much easier and it becomes much more uh, enjoyable to dig. So now we've got our hole. We chuck in about four of these paddle cacti, right? There's a big debate on whether or not you chop them up. Um, if they're small, they'll fit in the hole, right? Because we need to completely cover them. So if they're already small, they'll fit in the hole just fine. If not, then you're going to need to chop them up with your shovel, the end of your shovel. Thus ends the debate. It's, it's a practical question, right? So these paddles, this material needs to be completely covered in soil. If it's not covered in soil, then there's a very strong risk that a, that a paddle cactus plant is going to grow from underneath the tree, which we don't want. Because each one of these little eyes here can give birth to some roots, which then start to grow a new plant, which is, like I said, we don't want. We don't want a, you know, obviously a paddle cactus growing from underneath of our trees. And as a side note, if you ever want to grow paddle cacti, right, from scratch, you can just take one of these guys, throw it out on the land, lay it down flat, and in the rainy period, this will give enough moisture to allow little roots to grow out of these little uh, nodes, and you will have a brand new paddle cactus on your land as a border plant or whatever, however you want to grow them. So now you've got the chopped up material or the whole material at the bottom of the hole. You backfill it a little bit, then you're ready to plant the tree. You plant the tree. Uh, in order to plant the tree correctly, you want to break up the root system if it's in a, in a pot. If it's a bare root plant, you don't really have to worry about that very much. But especially if, if the roots have taken the form of the pot, they might not even know they're outside of the pot. So we need to do a little bit of root pruning and a little bit of breaking up that material in order to liberate it from the form of the pot put it down in the hole, backfill all around, backfill, backfill, uh, make it a little donut where the water is gonna stick there, which is gonna not disturb uh, the trunk itself. We don't want uh, water to be able to reach the trunk itself, but we want this nice little donut shape. You can pat that down with your foot, no problem. Uh, you get it nice and straight, check to see that your uh, tree is indeed straight, right? Then we're gonna wanna stake the tree. Now, the way that you stake the tree is what I do is I just typically use one stake and I check from which direction the prevailing wind will come. Then I put the stake on the windward side, which means the direction from which the prevailing wind is coming. I put the stake there and I just tie a little lasso, go around, make sure that I get at least one little branch so that the twine does not slide down the tree itself, right? Then I tie it off wrap it around a couple times, make sure it's nice and tight, tie a little square knot, suffice with a square knot, and there the tree is staked. And then the final thing that I do is go and get some nicely aged wood chips. Those wood chips hopefully already have 
um, some mycelium, some fungi growing within them. That means they're nicely aged. So I take those wood chips and then I spread them around in that little donut shape. And there, my tree is planted. I've got this nutrient deep inside. Now let's talk about that for a moment. This nutrient, uh, how does it work? Roots search out moisture. It's just what roots do, whether it's a tree or a carrot or any other kind of plant, because they need moisture to survive, and so they instinctively go and grow in the direction of moisture. So that's the first benefit of these paddle cacti, is you've got this deeply deposited uh, bank of moisture, and those roots are gonna set down, 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 down. They're gonna look for that moisture, right? That's the first benefit. The second benefit is these paddle cacti uh, they're succulents, so they really hold that moisture for a long time, and then they break down slowly at a depth. That depth is like having a deeply deposited form of compost, which is a form of nutrient that helps your tree survive. I've lost a few trees out here, especially like, for example, cherry trees, uh, which are not sometimes well adapted to the Mediterranean climate. Any trees that are a little bit on the edge of your climate that will suffer from too much heat or from a lack of water are sometimes at risk. And since we're in a world where the, the climate has gone haywire, we need to put as many shock absorbers as we can, right? We want, we want, we want to design our land up so it can absorb the shock of these changes that are happening now and are sure to continue to happen. And this little technique is a great initial investment in the tree planting that we do on our land. Of course, it takes a little bit more time. It takes time to harvest the paddles. It takes time to dig deeper. It takes time to break up these things, but it's a great investment. It's highly recommended for any kind of planting that you might do in the Mediterranean. And like I said, I always, always now am going to use this technique with four uh, little paddles under any tree that I plant, even the nitrogen fixer trees, fixing trees I do, I'm gonna, gonna do that. And of course I mulch and I water and I do all the other things, but this needs to be done prior to the planting, otherwise it's too late, you can't do it anymore. So that is this video and I hope the content has been useful. My name is John Keisner. This has been another episode of The Natural Farmer. Thank you for tuning in and we hope to see you again real soon. Mm -hmm.